Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this important event, the joint signing of the MOU between the Australian Academy of Technology and Engineering, ATSI, and the uh, ASEAN Academy of Engineering and Technology. Firstly, as is the convention in Australia, in the spirit of reconciliation, the Australian Academy of Technology and Engineering acknowledges the traditional custodians of the country and their connections to land, sea, and community. And I would particularly like to acknowledge the Darug people where I am located here in Sydney and the deep and enduring knowledge and ancient engineering embedded in the custodianship of the first peoples of Australia. We also honor the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander elders and innovators of the past, present and emerging. For those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Marlene Kanga. I'm the immediate past president of the World Federation of Engineering Organizations and a fellow of the Australian Academy of Technology and Engineering and also a foreign fellow of the ASEAN Academy of Engineering and Technology. So it's a particular honor for me to be here today to facilitate this very important occasion. ATSI is a learned academy of independent experts helping Australians understand and use technology to solve complex problems. The academy brings together Australia's leading experts in applied science, technology and engineering to provide impartial, practical and evidence-based advice on how to achieve sustainable solutions and advance prosperity. The Academy contributes to robust and practical thinking to Australia's big debates and applies excellence in science, technology and engineering to solve the issues which are facing our nation in a fast changing world. The ASEAN Academy of Engineering and Technology has fellows who are eminent policymakers, engineers and technologists from academia, the public and private sector from the ASEAN member states. Fellows dedicate their expertise and networks to promote and enhance the wider application of engineering sciences, technology, and innovation in the ASEAN communities. It is therefore very pleasing that the two academies are coming here today with a shared commitment to promote engineering and technology in Australia and ASEAN. I'm therefore very delighted to welcome the leaders of ATSI and AAET to this very important event. We have today with us academic, academician Emeritus Professor Tan Sri Dato, Dr. Chua Hien Tiak, AAET President, Professor Dr. Yu Hong Tat, AAET Secretary General, Professor Hugh Bradlow, ATSI President, and Ms. Kylie Walker, ATSI Chief Executive Officer. A warm welcome to all ATSI and AAET fellows and foreign fellows who have joined us today. And I would also like to welcome Dr. Alan Finkel, Australia's chief scientist and also an Australian foreign fellow of AAET. And Dr. Li Yi Chung, who's a fellow of ATSI and the founder of AAET and who in fact initiated the discussions which le have led to this MOU. So welcome to you all. I would also like to welcome Mr. Greg Earle, Australian ASEAN Council board member. The ASEAN Australian Council is an Australian government initiative that supports Australian business, education, science, innovation, and the arts to work with partners in Southeast Asia and to increase understanding and knowledge and links between the people and institutions of Australia and the ASEAN nations. So it's particularly fitting that he is present here today. So now it gives me great pleasure to invite our guests from AAET to, to start the proceedings. I would like to invite the president of AAET, Professor Emeritus Tan Sri Dato, Dr. Chua Hien Tak, to say a few words about the importance of the signing of this MOU. Professor Chua was president and CEO of University Tunku Abdul Rahman, or Utah, in Malaysia 
from April 2008 until September 2019. He's currently the president of the Federation of Engineering Institutions of Asia and the Pacific, or FIAP. I welcome you, Professor Chua. Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you uh, for coming to this uh, ATSE and uh, AET signing ceremony. Uh, I thank all of you for all your uh, hard work, and we believe that this is very important for our international collaboration because we believe that this human networking is very important. And I look forward for more activities and uh, such as joint seminars, R&D, and uh, student and staff exchange uh, between ASEAN and uh, Australia. Thank you so much. So let me introduce you, um, Hugh. Professor Bradlaugh, for those who don't know him, is president of ATSI and is an independent non-executive director of Silicon Quantum Computing Proprietary Limited. He was previously chief technology officer and head of innovation at Telstra, Australia's largest tele telecommunications company, and res was responsible for research and development of new technologies and their introduction into Telstra's business. Subsequently, he became chief scientist at Telstra, where he advised the board on long-term technology directions and technology disruption. So welcome, Professor Bradlow. Thank you very much, Marlene. Um, first of all, I'd like to welcome Dr. Yu and Professor Chua and um, thank them for joining us on this important occasion. <laughs> the, it, this is an important occasion for ATSI. Um, we live in a time of great peril in the sense that we've seen, uh, we've seen over the last few years a rise in nationalism, uh, a retreat of globalism, um, and I think it's extremely important that we as uh, scientists and engineers get together and collaborate across the world. Um, it's a global world with global problems that we need to solve together. And that's why it's important that we work together and learn from each other and teach each other things. So um, it's with great delight that I'm signing this MOU this afternoon because it's the first step on a, a journey that will help it take us to more effective collaboration collaboration, at least across the region in which we all live. Um, it's a, a shame that we can't get together in person, but as I was pointing out before the meeting started, um, at least it saved both of us probably many hours of traveling and messing around at airports. So um, there has been a productivity gain. Um, if we could just get the technology working smoothly, I think this would be a much better world for all of us and probably better for the climate. So. Um, Thank you for joining us uh, once again, and um, I'm going to hand over to our CEO, Kylie Walker, who um, is the person who's got to do all the hard work to make this actually happen. So it's important that Kylie uh, at least talk to you about what she has in mind. Kylie, over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Hugh, and welcome, Kylie. Uh, I just wanted to give a little introduction to you who, to, for those who don't know you. Uh, Kylie. So Ms. Kylie Walker joined ATSI earlier in the year as Chief Executive Officer. She's also Chair of the Australian National Commission for UNESCO. Kylie specializes in connecting technologists, engineers and scientists with government, business, media and society. Skills built over many years in senior federal communication and advocacy roles in science, technology and health sectors. Welcome. Thank you very much, Marlene. Thank you, Hugh, and um, greetings, distinguished colleagues uh, from the ASEAN Academy, Dr. Yu and Professor Chua. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's a real pleasure to be here, um, and it's also a, a very distinct pleasure to be signing this Memorandum of Understanding. Um, I join you from Canberra, the, the capital of Australia, which is also Ngunnawal and Nam country. Um, and I wish to echo Hugh's words, um, first of all, that um, the Australian Academy of Technology and Engineering very deeply values our international connections. And we're delighted to have the opportunity to formalise this relationship, which has been building over some time. 
um, we have a series of or, or a range of activities and programs that I think are ripe for uh, for discussion and collaboration um, with our colleagues in the ASEAN nations. And um, I'm thinking uh, a, a little bit about the series of reports that we're creating at the moment to lay down a pathway towards a technologically enabled and connected future. Um, we've done some specific work around transportation and, and health, which I know um, we are keen to explore um, together. We're also currently finalising a report laying down a, a future for a, a, a very circular economy to minimise waste and turn waste into a resource. Um, we've been pleased over the last few months to, um, to significantly enhance the way in which we are able to advise um, government through the Rapid Research um, Information Forum convened by um, the Australia's Chief Scientist, who is a fellow of, um, of the Academy. Um, Dr. Alan Finkel, we're able to provide rapid, timely expert advice to government and other leaders in Australia. And I see this connection as enhancing that capacity to be able to bring that advice um, with an, inter an international perspective, with international considerations, and potentially to a broader range of governments around the world in collaboration with um, the senior experts in technology, engineering and applied science that our academies together represent. Um, I, there's also opportunity, of course, to support a, a thriving and diverse future skilled workforce for technology and engineering um, through connecting around the education of our school students, um, mentoring opportunities and internship uh, opportunities for, for students from all of our nations. Um, as well as exchanges between um, our own academies and other experts uh, in our broader network. So um, I look for forward very much to working with you and your colleagues. Um, and thank you very much for, uh, for bringing this discussion and, and this possibility to fruition today. Ali, thank you. Thank you very much for those wonderful words. And we certainly look forward to the work that is to come. Professor Dr. Yu, I would like to introduce you uh, first. Uh, before you say a few words, uh, currently uh, Professor Dr. Yu is President of University Tunku Abdul Rahman. From 2009 to 2019, he was Vice President Internationalization and Academic Development and succeeded Professor Chua as President and CEO of Utah in September 2019. So very warm welcome to you, Professor Yu. Thank you, Dr. Malin. Uh, thank you so much to all of you. Uh, it is really a pleasure for all of us to be together here. Uh, uh, Professor Chua has actually requested me to also say on behalf of him. Now, on behalf of uh, AAT, we would like to actually thank uh, ATSD very much for this collaboration opportunities. We would like to thank Dr. Malin and also uh, our founder, uh, founding president, Dato Li Jong who actually initiated this uh, preparation, which is very much appreciated. Uh, recently, in our AEET Council meeting, we have also discussed about this one, and all council members from the uh, ASEAN countries, they are looking forward to actually uh, collaborating with uh, ATSE on uh, all the things that we mentioned in the MOU. Although COVID-19 has actually uh, uh, restricted a lot of travels at this moment, okay? But we believe that like, for example, today's uh, occasions where everything, everybody is connected through this uh, online meeting and all that, it is possible for us to actually uh, start some activities uh, between ATSE and AAT uh, through this online channel, okay? And the other thing is actually, uh, we are looking forward to all these kind of collaborations as mentioned by Professor Hugh Brero and also Ms. Kylie Walker just now. A student can, participating in, can participate in the internship student exchange program and researchers and the industrial people can also work on collaborations. And we can also co-host some of these online forum with invitees from both ATSE and AAET, so that we can actually have this kind of intellectual exchange. I believe that this is something that we are looking forward to. And in fact, Australia and ASEAN countries are very close <laughs> to each other. So definitely we hope that when this uh, COVID-19 actually situations improve and all that, we will actually definitely would like to actually organize more of these uh, physical activities and we get together and then meet each other. 
But before that one, through these online collaborations and meeting and all that, I think uh, by that time, when we meet each other, we will we will be actually uh, like old friends. <laughs> okay, so I would like to actually uh, congratulate uh, to ATSC again, uh, and would like to thank you all for actually uh, having us as your collaborating partners, and AAT and all our uh, fellow members and all that uh, from the ten Asian countries and also our foreign fellows and all that. We definitely would like to work closely with ATCSE to actually bring uh, uh, advancements to the science and technology and to promote science and technology to uh, people all over the world. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Yu, for those wonderful words. And we certainly look forward. We are already very good friends, and I'm sure we, our friendship will only grow with this relationship. And so now to the very important part of this afternoon, which is the signing of the MOU. In these COVID times, we cannot be physically together. So each of you will be asked to sign uh, the document and this will be put together uh, into one, collated into one and shared with both organizations. So I invite uh, uh, Professor Chua, Dr. Yu, Professor Bradlow and Ms. Walker to sign their copy of the MOU. Well done. I have signed. Well done, and we have some virtual applause. <laughs> I have signed, but I can't hold it up, Marlene, because of the virtual background. <laughs> no, that's, right. that's okay. Uh, but uh, well done and congratulations, and I hope that this will be a start of, of many big things. And uh, if, if we, I'd also like to thank everyone for coming this afternoon for your patience. Uh, with the technology glitches uh, but the important thing is that we got there and uh, uh, it's a start uh, for for many things going forward so well done uh, to all of you and uh, have a great afternoon thank, thank you, you very much everyone thank you very much thank, thank you very you. much thank you thank you professor chua <laughs>